The CNN documentary called Chicago Lamb introduced us to introduced us to Lee McCallum Jr., who's a young man from a troubled neighborhood, turned his back on gangs and violence to become a high school graduate and a leader. And in this uh, TV program, he talked about specifically the cycle of violence, one in which his father was involved as well. Fender High School senior Lee McCollum may be aiming for college next year, but when you live in Roseland, that's a long way off. Lee's dad went to Fenger High School in the 80s with Eric Wilkins. Both are veterans of Roseland's brutal gang wars and have survived shootouts. Lee Sr. lost his leg. I remember the first day he got shot. I was dang going on 10. Like, hey, my mother, she's screaming, like, get up, get up. No did he shot, no did he shot. Here he was. He was prominently featured on Chicago land, and we have now learned that Friday night, Lee became another victim of Chicago's horrendous violence. He was shot not once, twice in the leg in a drive-by shooting with one bullet actually smashing a bone. Doctors hope he will recover and be able to keep his leg. Liz Dozier is uh, the principal at Fanger High School. She, too, is prominently featured in Chicago land, where Lee graduated from. And Liz Dozier, have you talked to Lee? How's he doing? I actually just talked to him this morning, not even a, a few hours ago. He's doing well. He's recovering in some pain, but he's on pain medication. Um, unfortunately, he's, he, as well as I think other people, have become so desensitized to the violence that his biggest concern at this point was not having a pair of gym shoes to worry because uh, to mm. wear because uh, there's blood all over his gym shoes, and that was his biggest concern this morning. And so mm. I think that speaks a lot to the desensitization of, uh, of violence in of our the city. violence. Um, yes. Remind me, was he, he was on his way to work when he was shot? Yes, from what I understand, he was, it was early in the morning, on Saturday morning, he was on his way to work, had just stepped outside of his uh, grandmother's front door, uh, him and another uh, friend, and were just literally, he's getting ready to walk and go to work. I mean, when you talk about job. the... You talk about the desensitization among some of these young people to the violence in Chicago. You have been, you're, I've seen you in the program. You're, you're a tough cookie, Liz Dozier, as a principal at, at this uh, high school. And, and you have to be to perform uh, the, the incredible work that you do. But just to see this happen to, to, to kids, especially those who turn, seem to mm -hmm. turn it around, um, how, that has to be mm -hmm. tough for you. It is. I think it's tough for us as a community. I mean, at the end of the day, people can say what they want to say, but these are children we're talking about. I mean, Lee is uh, not even 20 years old yet. And so mm. when we think about children being shot uh, and killed across not only our city, but really our country, and especially in our urban centers, it's just completely unfortunate. Um, this Because this really speaks to the fate of our country and our cities, uh, what's happening in, in our small community as Roseland. Liz Dozier, keep doing what you're doing and give Lee our best. Thank you so much in Chicago for us. I will. Thank you so much, Brooke.